Wherever possible, the stick should be extended and the boom lowered so the work can be done at ground level. Finding that impossible, the next man used the service truck as a safe work platform. Climbing with tools can create a hazard. Use the steps and the grab irons. Keep at least three points of contact, two feet and one hand unencumbered. Any shortcuts and you're inviting injury. In fact, taking shortcuts is often a quick road to trouble. For example, consider what happened to Harry Sanders. Harry has come to work with a problem. His son is having a football injured knee operated on this morning. Harry wants to finish this job and take a couple hours off to visit his son. The operator has complained that the scraper is shifting too slow and the controls are sluggish. In a hurry, Harry pulls only one axle. The service manual says to pull both axles and disconnect steering. But Harry knows with one axle removed and the differential unlocked, the machine shouldn't move. He's taken this shortcut before. While waiting for the operator to return, Harry starts the machine in order to judge the problem. While he waits for the engine to warm, Harry's thoughts drift to worries about his son. The accelerator feels stiff, so then he checks the feel of the service brakes. His attention is divided. While thinking about his son, his hands and feet go through motions he believes have become automatic. In this absent-minded state, he unconsciously starts to steer, jams his foot on the differential lock, and the machine takes off. Lucky for the stunned operator, the machine stops itself. Harry is only bruised but in a crowded area, he could have killed someone because he ignored safe procedure to save a few minutes' work. Now, most people have days when they come to work with worries, hangovers, or distractions. Those are times for being doubly cautious. When the body's on the job, but the mind is elsewhere, it's danger time. Glenn Greenwood was victim of another kind of mental hazard, ego. How you doing, hot shot? Uh, it's stuck in there tight. Did you get that pin driver? No, but I got this drift. Just give it a whack. Glenn knows the risk of striking hard against badly chipped metal, but he's wearing safety glasses, and uh, there's a macho thing involved here. Glenn doesn't want his friend to sneer at him for being overly cautious. So, Glenn shakes hands with danger. Maybe his friend would have laughed if Glenn had insisted upon playing it safe. But he sure as hell isn't laughing now. With tools, the time to make sure you have a safe ending is before you start using them. They should be the right tools for the job and in safe condition. If Glenn's friend had ground off that mushroomed face, taking care of the tools he uses, he could have prevented that accident. Some old timers think accidents happen only to greenhorns. Hey, Red. I got a brack on. You want to come take a look at it? Let them learn the hard way, they say. Now, let them learn the hard way can be an attitude that results in serious injury. Doctor, sorry about that. One word of caution from the old timer would have saved a lot of pain and lost work time. And even the old-timer can lapse into carelessness. 
the safety gap is correct when he starts, but he doesn't think about how much he's grinding down the wheel. He gets by with it on that longer piece. Shake hands with danger, step right up and say hello. Grinding wheels and metal are what made Three Finger Joe. Hey, come here.